Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Huang Shell Let's Play for Three Kingdoms Total War, the Yellow Turban Rebellion DLC. And yes, I am back after a couple of months away, and I'm sure that most people have lost interest in my current campaigns. However, now that I'm back, I still would like to wrap them up. I just don't like to leave campaigns unfinished, and I'm sure maybe there is a couple of people that feel the same way and would like to see this campaign finished as well. Well, but it's been so long that I actually had to sign in and just take like 10 or 15 minutes and look at the state of the world here and figure out what I had been doing and what I still needed to do. Now, the good thing is with this uh, with this campaign that we're already at the ascended stage and we're very close to the enlightened stage and I think we just have to get to the enlightened stage and then we have to fight a final battle or something to finish off this campaign. So I don't think we have too many more episodes left in this one anyways, but I still wanted to make sure that we were able to finish it. Uh, it's funny too, uh, my campaign is now out of date as well, so I'm hoping we won't experience any crashes because obviously the game has updated a number of times since I was away, but uh, it loaded in and it looks like everything is the same. I did watch the previous video to the end that I had posted a couple of months ago and it looks like everything is in place, uh, so I'm hoping everything is fine. So we are sieging. Uh, we've got Gung Zin Kung over, or Gung Zin Gung over here. Uh, we're sieging him with two armies, which is good. Pei Wan Shao is also up here. We're going to try and take out Dong Bei. And we've also, we were finally able to wrap up the Han down here, I believe. And we've got uh, this army, which is moving over to reinforce um, Fang Zi, who is going to go after this city. Of course, South Sao has been a pain in our backside for a lot of the campaign. So hopefully trying to, uh, hopefully taking him out will put us in a pretty powerful position. But getting rid of Kong Rong um, at the rear of our empire as well has really helped stabilize things too. So I think we're in a pretty good position. We also did peace out with... Um, What's this guy's name? Uh, Gung Zin Zan. Uh, we were pushing heavily into his territory, but then we had that really big setback where I I was lazy, basically, and I decided to auto-resolve one of my battles, and it just wiped out my northern army. So thankfully, he was able to, uh, or he was willing to accept peace with us, and uh, we were able to kind of focus elsewhere because, again, South Cell, with all of his, um, with all of his vassals, are really starting to be a big pain. But it looks like we're just getting a bit more replenishment here. Let me just reacquaint myself with my armies and what we have. Got some yellow turban archers here. The models do look like they have been updated just a bit. Because these guys used to be yellow. Uh, very good. Uh, our income is not too bad as well. I think this army might just stay here for the time being. Because I don't know if uh, Sun Jian is going to declare war on us. He does not like us very much, so... We might have to keep something down here for the time being. Never but, uh, yeah, what's the garrison here of this city? It's a pretty solid garrison, so I definitely will want to have two armies down here. And uh, I believe this is Hei Yi. Yes, he is sieging this city. The garrison is quite powerful. However, we should have... Uh, where are my monks? I had some monks around. I remember I had to recruit them. Just wondering which army they ended up in. Are they down here, maybe? Or maybe I disbanded them because I ended up not being able to afford them. Oh no, here they are. The Scholar Warriors, yes. These guys, very, very cool. And I've also got some uh, White Way veterans here as well. So pretty solid infantry in that army. Very, very good. Okay, so let's take a look at the skill points that are available here. Hold the center. Uh, so this is... He is... I don't know if he's an... He's a general. Okay, so... Encourage would be good. Uh, enables fire arrows. That would also be solid. Or he could get some extra armor for his retinue. I think I'm going to go for the fire arrows. And extra post-battle loot income. armor piercing damage. Yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, let's take a look at this guy, who's also a general. Can give him some extra armor, maybe. Guerrilla deployment would also be pretty good. And night battles. Yes, let's go for that. And this guy, local leader. 
Okay, so we need something that's going to affect the campaign map for him. Public order and unit morale. That could be good. Construction time. I think the public order. Yeah, let's go for that. So that takes care of all of that. Now we do have some commanderies. Uh, so let's sort by public order. Uh, Dong... Dong is not happy. Where where are they? Really, they're unhappy. Why is that? Reserves. They've got enough food, which is good. They they need an upgrade, maybe? Is that why? Uh, we're not going to have enough food for that is the only problem. We're going to be at a negative. And they might actually be a little bit unhappy because of this iron mine? No, it doesn't look like it. Income from industry, military supplies, and reserve. Government buildings. Yeah, let's go for that. That's good. And that is pretty much all of our money. But it looks like everybody else, the public order, is increasing, which is good to see. And actually, if we can check our food. They're exempt from tax. That's why they're increasing so much in their public order. But where is all their food going? Public order income from peasantry. We pretty much maxed out the food, so I don't know why they're struggling so much. It's minus six here. So you know what? Uh, at Dong, then, let's let's cancel that, and let's get these guys some food. Er, we can't get it. Oh, we, do, we can't get it. Okay. And they're at zero. All right, well, let's just go to Dong and get the extra money then. It would be an extra hundred, I suppose. Yeah, I think that's going to be worth it. Okay, very good. So the construction is taken care of as well. Now, do any other armies need moved? I don't think so. I think we did that in the last episode. We just have to be careful here not to get flanked. Actually, maybe... Maybe Pei Yan Shao should go that way and then sweep across, but I'm trying to block here at my capital uh, in case uh, Dong, Dong Bei brings any troops forwards. What's the uh, odds here? It's a Pyrrhic victory, but he is taking attrition. I think I wanted to attrition him down for a couple... a couple other... Or a couple more turns, I should say. So let's just starve out. See if he comes out. If we do see another army, we can always just uh, go in and fight that. Then we can swing this army across to Yantan and then over here. It just all depends on if these characters will stay peaceful with us for the time being. Because I really can't afford... I really can't afford another war right now. I remember being very stretched. Strike them! Once these guys start to take uh, attrition too, all will be well. Very good. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, so they're actually coming out. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's see what they have. So I've got this army. Why is the why is the second army not coming out? I have some trebuchets. They've got a lot of cav. What's their garrison like? Their garrison isn't that good. I've got some good cavalry as well, plus the generals to run down all their archers. Yeah, I say I say we try and fight this. Even if we lose, they're going to be so battered and bruised that the second army should just be able to walk on, uh, walk on in. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Alright guys, welcome to the battlefield, and I did forget just how pretty this game is. Look how beautiful these graphics are. I really, really want to play some more Three Kingdoms on my channel. I don't really care too much about the time period, but it just looks phenomenal. I know I drool every time I get into a battle on uh, this Three Kingdoms Let's Play, but uh, one thing that is new that I didn't know about is that we actually have deployables now on land battles, which is very interesting. So I put some oil over here to maybe ward off some cavalry. In the center here, I've deployed some stakes, and we also have a defensive tower here as well. Now, I believe that the enemy is probably going to be... 
uh, forming up with their reinforcements. Again, they attacked me, so they should be the ones that are coming forwards, I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and maybe just fast forward and see if they do start to appear in front of us. Although, did they put some defensive towers down as well? They did. Hmm, that's strange. I mean, technically they should be coming to me. I would assume. Let's let's send some riders up here to scout a little bit. See what we can find. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we do have some troops coming. Let's stop them. Yeah, there we go. There we go. They're starting to come now. Get back into the forest. Let's turn this back on to play. Trebuchet should begin firing any minute now. There we go. Okay, they are firing on the cavalry, though. That's not what I want them to aim for. Let's start bunching. Or aiming for all of the bunched up troops that are over here. All the enemy forces moving forwards. See the trebuchet getting some nice shots. Here we go. Hmm, that was a miss. This one looks better, though. Yes, there we go. That's what I want to hear. Good, good, good. Now, that cavalry... It stopped chasing us, which is good. I will crush you for this insult! Yes. Old men. We have shield wall. We don't have shield wall, no. Spear wall with these guys? No. Defensive tower. I have no idea how... How good they are. Okay, I've got to get ready with my cavalry. Is that their only cavalry, too? That's interesting. Let's bring these guys over here real quick. They are moving in. There we go. Charge, men! Ambush the cav. We're also hitting them with our archers as well, so I guess we won't need to pull our generals over here. Actually, yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's send them all in. How is the trebuchet doing? Still volleying the infantry. Let's go after the uh, generals here now. Saber militia, warriors of Yi. Let's let's go after them. They're probably very good in melee. Start trying to cut them down. Yeah, and those archer militia are having some trouble. As soon as they come into range as well, we'll be firing on them. They are starting to go after my tower, which you is unfortunate. Weak. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Good, good. So the cavalry has pretty much broken. Let's move over here. And archers. Archers begin firing. At the infantry. Oh, oh, big boo-boo as well. Forgot to turn them off skirmish mode. Alright, you charge into them. Yeah, you guys keep trying to move around the flanks. Because I'm sure there's a lot... Oh, yeah, there's all their reinforcements that are coming in, actually. That was a good charge there by him, though. We do have some cavalry returning, so I'll send my cab over there to deal with them. Just gotta break these guys first. Start focusing the uh, generals. Does Beto wear you out? Oh, how witty! How very witty! <laughs> I do love all of the. Uh, funny explanations these guys get into when, on the battlefield. There we go. Good. So they're broken. So you continue after them. You continue after them. You continue after them. And you're pretty much freed up at the moment. How is our infantry line doing? We're doing okay. Let's go after the crossbows that are coming into range then. And you are getting a little bit too close to those archers, so you pull back as well. 
good. I think things are going pretty well so far, if I do say so myself. Just want to run those guys down a little bit more because they're... Uh, careful, careful. You're holding well. Our men have no ammunition. Draw your weapons. Let's move all the archers back a bit. And obviously we are out in the artillery situation. And you, you can flank around because you still have ammunition. Okay, so what do we need to focus on? Uh, G militia, infantry captain, that would be good to focus on. They're just all militia, so yeah, just focus those crossbows. Get them off the battlefield. Okay, good. This cavalry is, is back and ready to go. We do have some archers there. Uh, let's see. You focus this general. And yeah, you focus those spears. Our men have no ammunition. They it's okay. If they don't have ammunition, we'll just send them into battle. Okay, now it's time to send the generals out after the archers. They're going to go after that. All right, now that we've, looks like we've got the battle under control, let's enjoy some zoom-ins here. Cinematic struggle. Yellow Turban Rebellion still holding strong. There you go, archers. Push in, push in. There's the G Militia coming in. You can see the mayhem behind enemy lines here, too, the archers. That's fine, you can go after her. You run them down. What do we have here? Crossbows and archers. Yeah, I'll send you after them. And a lot of our infantry isn't doing anything now, so let's let's just push them around the flanks. Same with the archers as well. Send these archers in to reinforce. There, we're chasing her down, which is excellent. Let's go after the G infantry captain. And hopefully we'll be able to run them down enough that we can just take the settlement. Got to be very careful not to actually set that oil alight, though. And there we go. Extra infantry ready to engage. Let's see this charge into the infantry captain. Yes. And then we should have another, yeah, another cavalry charge coming in as well. Beautiful. And that should break the infantry captain. So how many are left? Two there. That's fine. We do need the warriors of Yi run down though. Look, the enemy run. Craven. And what do we got here? Just one G militia. That's fine. Attack. Steal yourselves. This uh, general will not break though. This uh, commander. She's being very tough to deal with. Make ready! We've killed an enemy general! Oh, that might be it then. Alright, let's fast forward here a bit. Are they gonna make it? Is this archer tower gonna shoot at- Oh, no, 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 no! That is not good. Should have watched out for those stakes. Lost some of my cavalry there. Thankfully, it was not my general, though. Okay, so what do we got over here? 30 crossbowmen. We need them run down because they're... Oh, yeah, the Warriors of Yi also. They're going to get away, so we'll just have to leave them for now. The men are out of ammunition. 30, 33 spears. Good. So, yeah, I'm going to finish running all of these... Uh, all of these enemies down, and I will see you back on the campaign map. Justice cannot be denied. And there we go. A very successful battle there. A heroic victory. And we even captured someone. Oh, we captured Gong Zen Kong. Or Gong. The actual... I believe he's the faction leader? Of this faction we're fighting. We are going to uh, execute him for sure. 
Grant them dignity and death. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Take no prisoners. Absolutely. We're going to recruit. Take that 14% replenish. Ah, actually, do we need to? We could ransom. I think we're just going to recruit. To action. Neither of us profit from this war. Uh, Dongbei, she wants peace, but she only has one territory? I guess that's fine. We'll accept peace. Our feelings about you proved true. The less enemies we have, the better. Uh, that will just mean that I'm able to focus uh, a little better. Uh... Yeah, so we got some alliances here. Uh, Sen Jen formed a coalition with Dong Bei. Uh, we peaced out with her, though. Yan Shu signed a peace treaty with Li Kong. Gong Du declared war on the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Dong Bei signed a peace treaty with Pei Wan Shao, yeah. Yan Shu declares his intentions. I have reached you that the warlord Yan Shu has declared himself the emperor under heaven. Such a brazen act has angered many, but he has also drawn powerful nobles to his cause. Okay. Uh, so, where was the person we pieced out with? That is... I've got to remember the map again. That's over here. Yeah, so she only has the one territory, so that's not a big deal. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we killed, I think, the faction leader himself, which is pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and just finish the job here. We should be able to... To battle! Should be able to just Remain finish this. Focus there we rage. go. So yeah, we could just... Uh, delegate that. Shouldn't lose too many. The people's voice 13 lost. Excellent. And we will just... We'll just occupy. We will bring righteousness to this settle from the it roots to heaven. Decreases our income though, which is unfortunate. Because it's 60 upkeep per turn. Now where is the the small regional city of this one is over there? That's Yantan, Hane. So we could send two forces over there, but I could also send That's a large city, that's a regional city. It's six and eight. This guy is also ready to move. So maybe I'll send... I'll send Pei off to Amping? No, no, he's a little farther away, so I'll send... What's the garrison of this one? Oh, uh, it's actually not that good. So maybe I'll just send one to Serve each. Integrity. How is his supplies doing? Uh, it's not ideal. But we can send him Go off to number people. seven. Uh, there is a pretty large force there. Can Pei Wan Shao come and support? No, he cannot. Can I beat that with what I have? Sprout ever upwards to heaven. He's he's there for another turn. He Welcome, also uh he also leveled Your up. Present, my lord. How can I serve? Uh so let's see what we can give him. Public order. Fire arrows, range block chance. I'm gonna go for that there. And pay, where do I send pay? I guess he can come across and support them? Moving out! My soldiers need rest. He actually should be in range to reinforce there, which is good. And I guess uh, this guy will have to come and uh, take these two settlements out then. Uh, we'll have to see how things go. I don't know what the situation is on those two cities, if they have uh, a couple of armies sitting in there or not. But anyways, uh, we should be able to force March right to the edge here, which is good. And unfortunately, he's not going to get any replenishment, though. Uh, he is good to go, though, so... What's what's the garrison here? It's pretty good, but let's let's push in there. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a close defeat, which is fine. Uh, oh, we got towers now, too. Nice. Let's grab two towers. We'll grab a ram. And let's grab uh, sappers. That's five turns. Continue the Victory siege. Belongs to us. We'll bring reinforcements in next turn. Uh, who else leveled up? We've got Zong Lin here. And Zong Lin, he is a general. Fatigue resistance, that could be good. And minus 50 for attrition, yes. That's good. And we've got... Which armies haven't moved? Hey, he hasn't moved. And this one. Uh, oh, right. He, he's going to be uh, sitting in the city of uh, Jengi. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. Just healing up and uh, preparing for the possible invasion of... Um, Sun Chen. That would be pretty bad if he declared war on us, because we cannot afford another army. I would have to just continue with this one army and then maybe swing down uh, this direction with this second force that we brought up. But, uh, hey, how long... How many more turns? It's seven more turns, but it's only two more turns before they run out of supply, which is okay. The only problem is, is that you're kind of running out of supply as well. But I've got 2,800 to spend, so is there anything that I can afford? I would give a little bit of extra money. Is there any food buildings I can get? Uh, who needs food, actually? Make sure also that the ones that are exempt from tax... We're focusing on them first to try to get them under control. So they're exempt from tax... And now they have 21 food, and it's plus one to public order. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that, that helps things out then. Uh, they're at minus one food. So they need to get a little bit more food then. So it's basically this that we need, but what do we need? Requires reform. Which one is that? That's down here. How many turns is that going to take? Oh, only three turns. That That's absolutely fine. And then... A little bit of extra money, or we can get some food there. Or they're only plus two for food, so let's, let's go with that. And does that take all of my money? Yeah, it looks like it does. Although it says I could build something else. What, what can I build? Oh, I can repair this at Zheng Yi. Uh... That's uh, this city down here, isn't it? Uh, they don't have they don't have much food. They're missing food. So what is this uh, income from commerce? Because he has probably yeah a copper mine and a salt mine. Oh, he's got production food production from fishing there. I'll go ahead and repair them for now and, and just see how it goes, I suppose. Okay, I think we are pretty set. We've moved all of our armies, so yeah, this one will move up to this city. That's not a complicated uh, garrison to take out. Uh, and then we'll just move on to this one. Hopefully there's not an army over there, though. And then looks like there is some farmland over here that we can grab as well. Oh, no. <laughs> is it 2v2? It is a 2v2. Hey has trebuchets. So it's actually five versus uh, five. Ooh, we've got Lu Bu here. Oh. They're bringing out the big guns, Lu Bu. He's the only one that I recognize. Okay, so this is, this is all trash. Uh, the heavy Xingyang cavalry. Defenders of Hebei. Yeah, that's a little bit terrifying. Evenly matched. So we've got four, six, seven thousand versus five thousand five hundred. I think we've got this. And this is going to severely cripple them. So let's go ahead and fight this one as well. It's only fitting since we, you guys have waited so long for this campaign that we have two really solid battles. So I'll see you back on the battlefield. All right. 
Alright guys, welcome to the battlefield once again. A very snowy battlefield indeed, but we need to quickly get our reinforcements into position. Now I'm holding on a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice little hill here. I'm just hoping I can get my trebuchets there in time. That's the only issue. I'm just going to try and run them forwards as quickly as possible, but it looks like they're actually going to take quite some time, so I might just have to set them up back here and uh, get them into range uh, that away. Maybe keep a couple of spear units uh, behind. But once everybody comes in, I'll readjust my line there on that little hilltop. But it's a nice spot for me to have my tower as well, my defensive tower, which is excellent. Looks like we've also got a lot of generals here, or sorry, a lot of cavalry, so we should be able to run down a lot of their archers, which is excellent. Keep coming in, keep coming in. A lot of archers I want to, to focus down those powerful horsemen as well as Lubu himself. A lot of my archers are going to be focusing directly on him. Alright, so we do see them way down there. So I've got this little rocky uh, outcrop here, but how many more... Got a decent amount of swords, so let's let's actually spread them out a little bit further here. Or I'll spread them spread them up maybe to this this hilltop here facing them, and then I do have some more spears. So what I'm gonna actually do is combine my better spears on one flank. So let's actually have them over here, and then these spears I'm gonna put onto my left flank. But that's where I'm gonna keep a lot of my uh, cavalry. And they're going to defend up to this rock. March, Rise up. And yeah, they'll fill in the space, which is excellent. Alright, so bows. Got a lot of bows. That is good to see. We are going to need them. So now let's spread along the line here as, as far as we can go. Make sure that they're all running as well. Yes, looks like they're all running. And trebuchet, I'd love to get the trebuchets like right here if, if they're going to make it in time. And then I've got five generals here. So let's have Pei and these two generals together. They're going to be on this flank. And then these two generals, because they're, they're veterans, so they should be okay. I'm going to put them over here on this flank. I will not rise to petulant insults. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna get there in time, the trebuchets, but let's fast forward and see. See what we can do. Everyone run. Get into position. Come on, hurry up. Got some holes in our line we need to fill. Minus 15 speed in the snow. Okay. Archers look like they are set up, which is good. And again, they should be coming to me. And I might actually try and activate that now. Do they... These guys have fire ammunition. One of them surely does. Yeah, this one does. Where is this one? That's way on the other side. There we go. This one, this one does. So, who knows? If we get some cavalry that comes in this direction or something, maybe we'll get... Uh, get lucky with it. Oh, come on, trebuchets, please. Please, trebuchets. I wonder if I go wide. I don't want to risk that because I don't want to get caught out in trying to fight Lu Bu. I think Lu Bu would even best pay Wan Xiao. Lu Bu is pretty powerful from what I've seen. But again, they should be the ones that are attacking me. If we could get them set up, like, right there, that would be pretty nice. These spears are almost there. And those spears would really come in handy on the flank. I'm hoping that they send their generals to the flanks and I can just focus them down with spears. Did they lose? Oh, no! They lost a lot of their cavalry here to their own traps. Wow, that is unfortunate. I'm hoping that's their good cavalry, too, that they, they lost. OK, 
Okay, I see the first unit slowly moving. They're moving slow, which is good. So it is going to give us maybe enough time to get those trebuchets up onto the hill, and then they're going to have to begin firing right away. Thankfully, the crew is still fresh because they can't run. Oh, it's such a good shot, too. Uh, is it because we're all hidden, too? Maybe they don't know where we are? No, it looks like the swords are not hidden, so they should know which way to come. Minus 25% uh, speed in water. Come on! You can do it! I have every faith in my line. You will hold, Yellow Turban Warriors. You will hold. Look at these brave boys. Been fighting alongside me for over a year. This campaign has taken me so long. Perfect. It made it. Yes. Excellent. And... It, it will actually be in range in time. Now, where is Lubu? And I have to remember which archer it is that I want to focus this down. Or to uh, light this, this up here. I think it was this one. Not in range just yet. Come on. So close. Okay. What do I want them to fire at first? There's their cavalry. Somewhere where they're nice and bunched up. Let's just start firing around here, see if we can get some damage dealt. I don't know where they fired, but oh that yeah, that's not a bad that's not a bad idea firing over there, but it's mostly militia. There's the heavy uh, Zing Yang cavalry. Oh my goodness, look at all the cavalry they have. They actually have a lot more cavalry than I expected. Which could be could be good for us though, because we have a lot of spearmen. As soon as that heavy cavalry comes into range though, I want to focus them down. Where's Lu Bu? I don't see him yet. How many kills has this gotten? There's a lot of cavalry coming over this direction here. these guys to pull in a bit. And the uh, spears. And these guys need to run. Let's bring these guys into the forest. Almost out of ammunition there. There's Lubu. Okay, focus with the artillery. I question your sanity. Ready. Let's actually uh, move the cab back just a bit here. The men have no ammunition. Draw your weapons. Uh, where's the one that I need? Oh no. The 
Does this one have flaming arrows? No, it doesn't. So why do only a couple? Probably because... Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so that's not going to work. Okay, uh, these two spears need to turn and face. Archers, turn and face. There's a lot of cavalry on that flank over there. We've got uh, two units of cavalry Show coming over this strength, direction. Friend. If only wars were won with witty words. Okay, let's try and kill Lubu. Cut the head off the snake. Why are you moving? Okay, you're gonna have to turn to face these spears here. A comrade is being attacked. Gonna have to send Pei in. How are we looking on this side? Oh, wow! Okay, dang. That is not ideal. Saber cavalry over there. Send those spears to help them out. And these archers are actually pretty fresh, so I'm gonna send them over here as uh, extra ammunition or extra reinforcements. Send this one to the flanks here. This archer, yeah, just keep focusing on Lubu. Focus everything you have on Lubu. Try and tear him down. Oh my gosh, he's charging in there. Uh, this archer needs to get out of combat. Good, they're freed up, which is good. Okay, this is more dire over here, though. Okay, you come up over here, help them out. Okay, things, things are looking all right. Uh, let's get the spears hitting the flanks here. Uh, Lu Bu is looking pretty bad. He's, he's in pretty bad shape. Let's focus over here, these guys. They're looking good, they're looking good. Uh, these guys came back, which is unfortunate. Let's try and fire at them. Got these archers as well. They've, they've started to come back. It's looking a little soft in the center, which is a worry. Okay, now you two can start focusing on the generals. Enemy warriors are running. That's good to hear. What do we got that you're running down? Archers. That I'm not sure if that's important. I think I'd rather have you uh, come back, come back over here and go after those archers. Good. They've been caught. That's good to see. How are we looking on the cavalry department over here? We should be doing just fine, actually. Good. Try and chase them down. They're they're in a weak enough state now that we can bring these spears back. So let's run them over here as quickly as we can. Okay, Lubu is still alive. Ooh, these guys have broken. Yeah, I need these spears in into the no center ammunition. now. Draw your weapons. These archers. Stop moving into into melee. Same with you. Get back. You are fine. You can push through though. Get they broken. That general is actually a little bit too far away for my liking. Okay, you break off. Yeah, they broke. They shattered. Excellent. Where's Lu Bu? Where's Lu Bu? Just sending my archers in. Go in, boys. Save the generals. Spears, let's go. I know you're tired. I don't know where you're going. Could uh, help out over here, though. Okay, they've, they've broken, so yeah, these spears come over here. 
There you go, there you go, pay. Good work, good work. Any archers that still have ammunition left? The men have no ammunition. Draw your weapons. There we go, there we go, Spears. I think we've got this. It's looking pretty comfortable. There we go, we've got Hong Jin, the commander. These guys are coming back. Let's try and ignore that general for now. He's just being more of a pest than anything. Attack! Look! The enemy run! Craven! Come on, Spears. Get over there. I know you're tired. Let's charge the uh, Saber Militia in the, ca in the uh, water here. This will be satisfying, I think. He's not heavy cavalry. He's a scholar, but still should be good. There we go. That was a good charge. Our men have no ammunition. They cannot fire. Push, man, hold. They're having difficulties dealing with even these archers that are over here. How are uh, these two generals doing? Finally making some headway, it looks like. Good, good, good. And how are they doing over here? Just mobbing him. Excellent to see. Uh, you could actually go over there and help them out. The enemy unit flees. What coward! There we go. Those two archers. You can come up here and help. The front line is is still surprisingly holding. Their enemy front line. I, I mean. Good. Yeah, you help pay one shall break them. One step closer to victory. Yes, we got this. Fire at the general. Oh, he's wavering. He's not liking that too much. We got this general coming in as well. He's gonna try and disengage, but we'll hold him in place. These guys done? Yeah, they're done. Perfect. Okay, the so that means they can please. start what start wrapping up these um, units that are retreating. We need to try and run down as many as we can. How's Pei doing? He's he's doing well. That guy has broken. He's gonna escape. So let's just uh, focus on these guys over here, if possible. There we go, there we go. I think that's the break. Victory! Look! The enemy run! Oh yes, look at the cowards run. Where's Lubu now? Let's try and slaughter as many as we can. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Justice cannot be denied. Alright, an excellent result there. We did pay quite heavily for that, unfortunately. Uh, so who did we capture here? We've got Hong Jun. And Li Humin. Spare my life and I will be indebted to you, she says. Spare my life and I'll be indebted to you. Uh, do they have any? She has no friends, so. We should not waste resources and on yet, them. you you just died too. I, I I like to slaughter them, and 
Lupu, did he die or was he wounded? He was the faction heir. Um, and that both of them were killed. I don't know if they were faction leaders or anything, but let's take the replenishment. To the task. You have earned our ire. Come on, deals war gun. Oh, Sun John, here we go. So Sun John has declared war on us. He's declared war upon us. Your ministers are making all necessary preparations to return hostilities, and generals stand ready. They are confident and eager to put these pretenders to rout. They call the coalition. Uh, is he... I guess I can't? Or maybe he said no. Okay, whatever. Be still to sense the smallest faction succession, so Gungus and Zan. Yes, he must have died. Did Dongbei join the war again? No, she didn't, okay. Alright, so. Let's go siege this city here. Attack! Uh, let's see, let's get, yeah, a couple towers, a ram, and a breach. Shout fury! We'll hold there for the time being, and... Reject corruption. Uh, which one's the stronger one? The You're people. the stronger one, so you go in to siege the city. Strike through! To battle! We might be able to just delegate that, come to think of it, but let's, again, let's get what we need and uh, continue the Two siege. Arms. And you can just wipe these guys Remain out, hopefully, sure. if they'll reach. Oh, brutal. Okay, we only lost 115. That's actually pretty solid. And Louis Bay was in there, was he? So does that mean that he's wounded again? For China. Not exactly sure. To see the land uh, but with you can come over here and reinforce there. Hey, he is still dealing with that down there. Now, the problem is, is that now we need to come get his, uh, his settlements here. So I don't know if we should cross together as one. Or try and divide our forces. Justice is on our side. Cross there, and I'm just gonna hold here and see what he does. The fishing port shouldn't be very well defended. No, it's got basically no one in it, so. Two arms. Yeah, we're gonna have to continue Attack. the siege there for a little while longer. But I think that is everyone. What about over here? What's the odds there? Mm, I don't want to lose that many. That's the problem. I think they're going to run out of provisions in one turn, so that's good to see. And yeah, we're going to take this settlement, then move on to this one, and hopefully that will secure our flank here. Please, please do not declare war on me over here. I don't want to be at war with you. That's going to spread me far too thin. Going to have to probably deal with her eventually as well. Oh yeah, he is he is broken. For the people. Shout fury. Mm, maybe we should just they will not give up the settlement. Okay, For well, honor. we're going to continue the siege there for now, and I think that's where we're going to leave it. We made some good progress. Uh, had some, a couple of really good battles and have really broken the back of Yan Tan. Haven't heard a peep out of South Tsao this entire time, so I wonder if he's recovering his strength somewhere. But being at war with Sun Jian down in the south isn't ideal. We're definitely going to have to deal with that in the next episode. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the return of this series. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.